That's probably the move. When you can just close yeah. your eyes, close the tab, <laughs> it all goes away and no one cares. It's the magic of the internet. It's so easy. Alright, so we have a uh, Joker, uh, with Joker with wings versus a dragon. Mm -hmm. We're seeing Bashy playing Dark Pit on the Lolo Reliable. Wow, that was, that was so good. You just see Bashy like waiting like, Okay, right, Beast, I'm gonna wait for you to press a button. And, that was you an know, interaction, like... yeah. Mm, slightly oh. missing that back. Oh, having mistiming it. Yeah, no, it was a good spot dodge coming up from Beast. Not able to get too much off of it though. You know, I actually like the way Bashy's playing this. They're respecting the fact that uh, Beast is really good at getting people off like these tiny hits and trying converting them into like these huge hits. So he's just being super careful to make sure like that Beast isn't getting any major, uh, any anything small in. Mm -hmm. Bashy's playing this like hyper defensively, but Beast has found like a way to break space properly. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. You don't see Pit that often in Tri-State, so Bashi is definitely welcome to come through. Even if they're playing edgy Pit. Oh jeez. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a weird way to sort of anti <laughs> like Charlie's an empty hot with yeah. the up, kind of looking like, you know, pre-patch Street Fighter. Yeah, like, you know, like, Dark Pit has like... Jeez, he almost died to that? I don't I don't consider dash attack to be like a kill move in Pit, I don't know. It's like a pretty so, decent boost option, like Pits, you know, they definitely like to be dashing in and out a lot. Um, trying to get like a lot of with punishes, so dash attack's a really, really good mix up. Slightly. Oh my god. Wow. So it's like the third side B that Bash has just done like raw. That I see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that hitbox is fair. Yeah. I'd say okay. It's fine. <laughs> okay. The only thing I see Bashy doing a lot is just shielding in place, waiting to see if uh, Beast is going to commit to any kind of, like, flaggy option. And generally, like, he's been scoping them out pretty well, but now it feels like Beast is starting to get a feeling for how uh, Bash is trying to play the matchup. And is starting to get, like, some good counter hits. I mean, I don't agree that, like, Bashir right now, he's maybe playing this a little bit too passively. I see him, like, play really, really grounded a lot. Um, he's, like, looking for, he's just dashing back and forth, dashing and shielding a lot. And Beast has really started to understand that. And as a result, like, you see him start to overshoot with his falling aerials. Um, especially with that falling forward air, and thus was able to get the up air. Um, yeah. Bashi might be really treating this too passive. Like, look at that, right? He had the juggle, like, set up, right? He, like, positioned himself well, and he backed off immediately, only, like, being able to cover, um, you know, Beast dropping and dropping down to center stage. Oh, man. Okay, that was a really good recovery from uh, Beast. If he hadn't done that, that almost definitely would have been the stock. Now, into the tech chase, super, super good catching Bashi, shielding there. <gasps> Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, the fallout. What? What is Beast? Okay, if Beast is going through these kinds of things, like, you know that he is confident in his leads. Yeah, sometimes you're just, sometimes yeah. you just have like 120% on your second stock, and you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna like up you and hope that I catch you with this. And if you, I do, I might kill you with this. Yeah, like, especially towards the end, I saw, like, when Bashy, like, he was feeling a little bit pressured. He just started sort of dash dancing under the platforms, like, thinking he was safe. Um, yeah. and he just, like, was able to get so many falling aerials off the second stock. Falling fell into up air the last stock, he just was able to just jump in with his back air. Um, Bashy has to be going through more risks. He has to be going through commitment, more commitments, I feel like. Um, and, and at least just try to make Beast uncomfortable. Because I do feel like he's giving him a lot more space than he would like to work with. Yeah. This is the fact that, like, this is something that a lot of really good players like to do. And this is, like, a trait that you see uh, a lot of top players have. Is that they'll play super slow. Or they'll play, like, away in the first few stocks of a match or a set. Where they just play super passively. They just wait and see what their opponent is about. What their team is doing. Because the biggest thing that can really mess you up in a match is just not realizing uh, when your opponent is just not realizing the fact that, like, 
your opponent is just gonna go nuts sometimes. Yeah. You can do it. And if you have that moment to kind of download them and understand what you're doing, that's big. And the best way to do that isn't by rushing in and trying to body them as possible, it's by playing passively. And that might be what Beast is doing that first stock. It was really good on his part, just like able to escape from there into the forward air. But already asserting so much stage control Ooh. tries to go through the down air. He just says, you know what, I want to end it all, but still is able to get back onto stage nevertheless. I feel like every time that Bashi is going through like these neutral airs, he keeps trying to convert it into another forward air or something. Um, instead of like punishing where Beast is like, like his positioning or where he's going. Uh, maybe like a little bit like to, I guess like tunnel vision to connecting that one follow up. Yeah. You see like Beast is letting uh, Bashi kind of get away with doing, uh, doing the side view to the ledge a lot. When there are actually options that he adds for like punishing that, whether it's shielding at the ledge, if he thinks that he's gonna go for it, mm -hmm. uh, there are things that he can do about that. Doesn't find it. Hmm. Now okay. we see like Bashi like he's committing to a couple more jump leads, especially with that full hop back. But look at that, Beast is just chasing him across the ground, understanding what he's doing in pressure. He's <sighs> not afraid at all. Yeah, no, Bashi's definitely playing scared now, and Beast, uh, Beast is a very experienced player. He understands. Wah! Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 just got hit by, like, the train, and he's like, what happened? Oh, you know, you, to, you probably took a second to kind of collect yourself on that one. That was disgusting! You know the picture of the horse, like, at the beach, looking into, into the horizon? I don't, you'll have to show me this later. I will do so after this set. I'm sorry your analogy doesn't work. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know the pits dash attack. No, it's a dash attack yeah, kills. It's definitely what is most reliable moves, but I feel like more than anything, Bash he is struggling to get these stocks off. Um like, yeah. like he I feel like really really hard reads and really sink all time and, and the times that he does like sometimes um Beast is able to lift through the kill moves. Yeah, look, like, again, like, Bashi, he is playing way too passively. Pit is gonna be uh, he's alive. Him there, yeah. He's A-OK. -okay. He's playing, like, really, really passively. He's sitting in the corner, which is a fine thing to have as long as you're mixing it up appropriately, calling out that neutral air dodge. Yeah, now Beast kind of read the crap out of, uh, out of Bashi, like, literally every time. Yeah. That was definitely, that first match was definitely a download. But, you know, good job to Bashi making it super far on their first, uh, you know, Wi-Fi run, getting that fifth place. Good job. Yeah, uh, So we're going to have, next up is Beast versus Con-Con. Uh, mm -hmm. Because apparently, uh, when I tried to change the loser's quarters to be best of five, it didn't happen for some reason. I'm not sure why. Wait, isn't, yeah. isn't top six best of five? Typically, but it didn't happen this time for some reason because I see Stan Luna versus Sourdough is 2-0. And I can't reopen a set to make it best of three, so we're stuck with this being best so of So Smash EG three. was like, you're going to make semis best of five. And it's like, all right, I got you, fam. No worries. No, it didn't happen like at all, I think. I just had to reestablish the setting. I don't know if like my, my Smash EG timed out or what the hell happened, but I can't fix it. All right, I mean, I'll take it. 